Hey Crypto Growth Fam, how's it going? This is your host Shazib signing in. We're back with another video guys. In this video we will be discussing Quan Network Universal Standards. It's going to be an interesting one guys so make sure to watch till the end. And folks for those of you who are new to the channel we primarily discuss utility coins and potential gems. If you're interested in any of that stuff then subscribe the channel and hit the notification icon for regular videos. And you can also support the channel by becoming a Patreon so do check that out as well only if you're interested and folks you can also check out the official crypto growth partners for the exchange we've got mexc you can follow the link in the description box below for rebates bonuses uh, discounts and lowest fees so do check it out and as far as the wallet is concerned we've got uh, the decent you can check out their products you can check out their biometric wallet which has got an attractive 50 dollars off and uh, you can also check out their biometric wallet 2x package guys which has got an astonishing 129 dollars off only if you follow the link in the description box below by the way, folks, Decent supports 3000 plus of your favorite coins and tokens. Anyways, now let's see what's happening with QNT in real time. I was going through <clears throat> the tokenizer's posts and he gives one of the best posts about QNT and other of others of this these DLTs. So really thanks to him, we get really great information and uh, his insights. Look at this. ISO TC307 NIST IETF. The U.S. National Institute of Standards and Technology are fully on board with DLT standardization. Uh, we have seen this trend uh, uh, in recent times even gain momentum that these institutions, organizations are getting much more uh, interested in these technologies, uh, especially in blockchain and different DLTs for uh, the use cases, utilities and solutions from universal ISO standards to internet scale IETF standard frameworks QNT computer security division CSD and applied cyber security division ACD blockchain NIST actively participates and holds leadership positions in ISO 20 ISO TC 307 on blockchain and distributed ledger technologies and its US Mirror Committee. NIST has contributed to ISO 22739 blockchain and distributed ledger technologies. NIST staff has been instrumental in the launch of a US led project in on physical assets disposition ISO AWI 20435 representing physical assets using non fungible tokens so basically different entities different institutions they are now exploring what can be how how they can use these different texts this new a financial tool to say the least in these networks NIST is very active in several other projects on identity security and interoperability and talking about interoperability security uh, we have talked about how Quan network is trying to achieve that to, to be interoperable chain agnostic and connect the different uh, legacy systems with the blockchain realm and different blockchains as well in the process and be in the middle of it all including a collaboration on digital currencies that is synchronized with integrate in, interagency colleagues active in iso T, tc68 on financial services i mean uh, in the future i think a lot of different uh, industries and platforms they are going to be exploring blockchain and dlt further and obviously quant wants to provide those services the overledger technology that they have wants to provide those financial services that's for sure uh, we've got uh, tokenizer again some nuggets on a potential qnt nda a European leader in banking automation uh, has defined a strategic plan for evolution of its blockchain infrastructure, the solution, Overledger and R3 Corda. But more specifically, they selected SIA chain integration with R3 Corda, as we know by now. The interoperability 
across SIA and CODA was established by Overledger a few years back. Uh, yeah, it, this is true, folks. Uh, Quant has been working on these different solutions from uh, a few years now. Uh, this is the, although a lot of the the, the globe is now uh, getting getting in touch with blockchain and how it can provide solutions and all of that stuff. Uh, Quant Network has been way ahead of its time and it has tried to uh, build that foundation along with the regulate like the, uh, along with their regulatory framework to provide financial services and to, and to be interoperable in the process. Seems like more growth out of the SIA partnership is beginning to blossom. In fact, what they say in the solution panel is quite telling of how leaders are seeing Overledger. Yeah, I'm int I'm interested in how these uh, different uh, leaders are looking at over the Overledger. Look at this. Overledger services have been installed and configured and the communication model, effective compliance and operation of the platform have been validated, allowing the proprietary, uh, proprietary infrastructure to support financial institutions in Europe. Europe is huge, the world is huge, even if uh, Overledger of, or the or the projects that we oftentimes talk about, even if they can fully implement and install their services in only one country, in only one state, and provide the services, I think that can be a huge use case, a huge real-world utility. And now, and we're talking about not only a state, we're talking about regions, we're talking about Europe and beyond. We're talking about the entire globe eventually. So, the potential is real. Uh, I, we never know where the, where it will go. Will it be a success or failure? Obviously, any business prospect can fail or it can succeed, but uh, the potential is there. The partnerships are there. This piece was published by Humani Humanitiva Group, an Italian ICT company. They work with companies in healthcare, airlines, energy, banking, and more. While details to who exactly this European leader in fintech are still uncovered, this certainly falls in line with all we're seeing with Quant over the past year. Look at this, the, 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 what Quant has been doing. Look at this. Further collaboration with R3 and SIA. Compliance remains a focal point, focus point. This is true. Uh, Quant wants to be compliant. It needs to be regulated. Cross DLT and legacy interoperability. Uh, awesome. Look at this. Humanitiva Group Overledger allows the connection of existing blockchain networks and facilitates interoperability between platforms. The challenge, a European leader in banking automation, has denied a strategic plan for the evolution of its blockchain infrastructure with a provision of services for interoperability with the R3 Rope platform. The solution, the, uh, the customer implemented over Ledger, which allowed her to connect her network with the R3 network, basically. Over Ledger services have been installed and configured, and the communication model, effective compliance, and operation of the platform have been validated, allowing the propriety infrastructure to support financial institutions in Europe. I mean, this is awesome. Let me repost this as well. <coughs> so... Quant has been gaining some uh, credibility lately with its partnerships over the course of years, by the way, despite uh, the slow, uh, slower price movement in recent times that the people have been worried about. But uh, the value, we're talking about the value it brings to the industry, and I'm concerned in making this industry a bit mature and taking it a step ahead from only this meme frenzy. That, that is what, I'm, uh, what I like for this industry to uh, survive in the long haul, like the stock market, like the shares market. So these projects are one of the uh, catalysts for its survival, I think, which legit to legit legitimize it. Let's see what the community is saying. Any technicals that we can get over here? This is Keta. It's been a long journey, q and Keep your eyes on the prize and don't sell early. Know what you hold, literally the easiest and safest plays in the top 100. Look at this, he is, he's looking at 
close to a $1,500 Q&T eventually. Look at this, this box around here, 1300 1400 1500 And this is the trend line over here. If we breach this with vigor, with, uh, with uh, uh, energy i think we can go on and test these levels eventually obviously it will take uh, a lot of passion from the community from the investors but uh, obviously it can be achieved we, we are at crucial points over here at the moment crucial support zones zaven the rapper good morning quant holders i have never lost faith must watch full video let me pause it for a moment. Let's see one or two more technicals and then we will watch this video to cap stuff up. QNT broke out the reverse head and shoulder. Get ready for the nasty pumps. So look at this reverse head and shoulder over here and it has been broken along with some uh, decent resistance line lines over here. Let's hope that uh, we break through the $70 level as well, because from there on forward, I think we might go and reclaim the the uh, all too famous $100 mark. QNT was above $100 for a very long time before it basically broke it and came down. Anyways, let's see this video that uh, Zaven has posted to cap things up. Connect AI, it was mentioned with Ocean. Uh, AI has a really good uh, convergence with blockchain and, and we can allow that across all the chains. What it's about is how do we interconnect using a secure channel to the disparate data sources to allow AI and big data to flourish. And we're quite excited with what can happen. And we've got client use cases we're already exploring in, in government, in, in aerospace, um, in, in you know healthcare as well, which we've got um, a couple of RFIs that we've been working on. So and it can be used for hundreds and hundreds of use cases around uh, you know AI data. Uh, if you want to do uh, an MDAP on payments, if you want to do an MDAP as an exchange, anything uh, computes. If you want to create like an AWS uh, equivalent on on the Overledger network, all of this is possible. So QNT has just become that you know, pure utility token that can be used for everything. And, and then scale that up to a city. So imagine you're in the city and you're in a car and, and that car knows that it, it's you who tells the next car that this, I'm carrying this passenger, um, I need to go because there's an emergency and every car gets out of the way so, so you can get to the hospital quicker. So we're just at the beginning of where we're heading with, with this uh, exciting time because machines will be able to communicate with machines and for everyone to communicate you need interoperability. I mean, why should a a Tesla not be able to talk to a Mercedes autonomous vehicle to turn left. Uh, that's where we are today. But what we're allowing is any type of device to talk to any other type of device to have true, you know, 5G cities. To the QNT token is is at the core of everything that we're doing. Everything that we're doing, hundreds and hundreds of use cases. Safely interconnect big data sources to a decentralized world, but have interoperability because, you know, if you're using, uh, let's just say, imaging data from from healthcare and one. So guys, uh, what do you guys think about Quan Network and its universal standards? Are you a believer or not? Do hit the comment box below and let the community know. Anyways, guys, this was it for the video. If you liked it, make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification icon if you're interested in utility coins and potential gems. And you can also support the channel by becoming a Patreon, so do check that out. Like I always say in the end, until next time, stay blessed and stay tuned. Thank you very much, everyone.